out in Colorado. Um, I just want to say this plan is a good start, but it does not fulfill the requirements of Proposition 114. Um, wolves should not be removed off protected status at 150 or 200 wolves. The best available science shows that carrying capacity is far above that, and at least 750 wolves need to be on the ground before any delisting occurs. Um, plus, you already have um, brazen poachers on CPW's own Facebook page bragging about shooting them as soon as they arrive. They don't seem to worry about law enforcement and protections need to stay in place. Um, also, coexistence with ranchers on our public lands needs to be enforced, not just encouraged, uh, especially since we the taxpayers and donors are paying for compensation um, for the wolf depredation payments. Um, preventive measures put in place like they did in Oregon has proved to be far mo most cost effective and lowered livestock predations versus what Wyoming has done with their plan to just kill them and pay over market value. Um, coexistence with ranchers, I mean, it, it, um, it needs to be first. It needs to come first. And um, Proposition 114 also says that wolves are to be a non-game species and not hunted. That's what the citizens of Colorado voted for. And very few think wolves should be trophy hunted. Legally, no hunting or fishing revenue can be used for wolf re reintroduction either. And a study from the University of Wisconsin showed that wolf trophy hunting only breeds more hatred for the species and increases poaching. All the other states that have had these wolf hunts have turned out to be disastrous for wolves and a huge black eye on all hunters too. Um, Hunting does not need any more bad PR, um, plus our state does not need the international backlash that the wolf trophy hunting states now receive from the rest of the world. Thanks.